Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this Pro Tools quick tip, I'll show you how to switch between pre and post fader metering. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with the latest releases from Wing Sound Studios. Okay, so I have this bass here uh, armed for record and right now I'm in pre fader metering. So this is, you wanna utilize this when you're recording to disc because you can see the actual levels that are being recorded and the fader is not going to affect those levels. The fader inside Pro Tools. Now the fader on your outboard you know, gear, whether it's an M-Box or you know, Icon or C24, whatever, that's going to affect the level, not the meter inside Pro Tools. So I'll play this bass real quick and you could hear when I move the fader up and down, it's not, it's not affecting that level to disc. So as you can see there, you know, maybe you heard a little volume changes, but it's not affecting the recorded level. So, you know, once you've recorded, you set your volumes right and, you know, you got your your audio down recorded and now you want to mix. So you want to switch to post fader meter. So what you want to do is go to the options drop down menu and you see pre fader metering and you want to click that to uncheck it. So now I'm in post fader meter. So I'll show you here now the fader is going to affect that level. So I'll play this recorded track here. So you see the fader is now affecting that level. So this, you want to utilize this when you're mixing to get your levels down perfect. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com.